Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the group velocity and phase velocity. When electromagnetic waves are traveling from the source to a long distance uh, destination, it is subject to uh, the amplitude reduction and phase changes. And let's see that what will happen when a group of electromagnetic waves are traveling together. So such groups are called wave packets. So the velocity with which a wave packet travel is called the group velocity. And the velocity with which the phase of the, the wave travel is called the phase velocity. So this the alpha we used to represent the amplitude changes and the beta we used to represent the changes in the phase shift when we, they travel. So even though the electromagnetic waves are traveling from the same source uh, but uh, as a group, but there is a uh, slight changes in their, uh, the speed will happen. The speed changes is very, very small. It's, we are represented using delta omega. If omega naught is the, uh, the base velocity, then delta omega is the slight change in, in their uh, velocity components. Because of various uh, the factors just like uh, intrinsic uh, impedance or uh, other uh, factors which is offered by the, the medium through which it travels. And let's see that what are the, the changes that reflect on the shape of the wave. So here we can see that uh, two uh, uh, electromagnetic waves. Uh, let us take it as an EX1 and uh, EX2. And uh, here we can see that uh, even though they are very close, there uh, there is a slight shift in the frequency component. So delta omega, we can see that because these peak are not exactly on the same the time frame and uh, here we can see that the resultant wave because when these two combine when you when you add these two the electromagnetic wave components which is traveling along the z axis so this would be the the resultant wave shape so here we can see a profile so which is completely different from what we have seen earlier because this profile changes because of their uh, um, the phase shift and also because of the frequency uh, change. Uh, consider this plane is traveling in the uh, is a, is a direction so we can represent mathematically ex as uh, e naught cos omega t minus beta is it so let us take that this frequency has two or frequency component uh, one is omega one which is omega naught that is a base frequency plus there is a, a change in the frequency component and omega two is the another uh, let us take it is a the frequency of this wave that is base frequency minus delta omega similarly the phase shift component corresponding to omega 1 and omega 2 are beta 1 so beta 1 is uh, beta naught plus delta beta and beta 2 equal to beta naught minus delta beta this is a change in the the phase component of the wave one and wave two now let us put these uh, values into this uh, general expression of this electromagnetic wave that is traveling in the z axis so ex1 become uh, x1 become e naught cos so omega become omega 1 omega 1 t minus beta 1 is it so similarly e x 2 this wave become e naught cos omega 2 t minus beta 2 is it 
Now let us substitute this omega 1, omega 2 and beta 1 and beta 2 in these expressions. So let's see. Let us take those two are 1 and 2. So 1 become E x 1 E naught cos omega 1 is omega naught plus delta omega times t minus b beta 1 become beta naught plus delta beta is set and uh, 2 implies e x 2 e naught cos omega naught minus delta omega t minus beta naught minus delta beta is it now let us see the what is a resultant wave that is e x is electromagnetic wave 1 and electromagnetic wave 2 so these two get added up so here we can see that e naught is common so we can take it out e naught and cos let us take it as A and this as B. So this is this becomes cos A plus cos B. Cos uh, A plus cos B is two cos A plus B by two into cos a minus b by 2 so let us apply that formula here e naught cos a plus b so this is a and b so omega naught plus delta omega multiply t inside minus beta naught is set minus delta beta is set plus b omega naught t minus delta omega t minus beta naught is set minus delta beta is set so minus minus become plus here similarly minus by this this all divided by 2 times so here we can see some common thing this these two get cancelled and these two get cancelled so omega naught t omega naught t it become 2 omega naught t and minus b not beta naught is set and minus beta naught is set so this become uh, minus 2 beta naught is set so let us erase this part we can write it on us 2 omega naught t minus 2 beta naught is set all divided by 2 and let's see what is a minus b here so cos so this is a omega naught t plus delta omega t minus beta naught is set minus delta beta is set minus b so this become minus omega naught t plus delta omega t minus beta naught is set so minus of minus become plus minus delta beta is set or divided by 2 so here we can see that omega naught t omega naught t cancel and beta naught is set and beta naught is set cancel so these are the terms this is repeating 
delta omega t delta omega t again delta beta is it and delta beta is it are repeating so two times uh, delta beta is it and two times delta omega t so let us become 2 times delta omega t minus 2 times delta beta t or by t so remember we are missing a 2 here because cos a plus b is 2 cos a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b so here another 2 and here 2 common on numerator and denominator so we can uh, represent this e of x is 2 e naught cos omega naught t minus beta naught t times cos delta omega t minus delta beta t delta beta is the, the small change in the phase and delta omega is the small change in the frequency of uh, electromagnetic wave 1 and wave 2 now uh, see this uh, this is the these terms are constant because this is the, uh, the expression of the resultant wave if you look at this figure this is the expression of resultant wave and this wave will maintain its shape and velocity and its phase shift throughout its propagation through the any medium so the terms become constant now the only parameter that uh, uh, define its uh, function is here we have done a small mistake this is not t because this propagating uh, in the z direction so so this function e of x is with respect to uh, time and uh, the direction that is z. So all other terms are uh, constant. Now let us uh, let us uh, make some differentiation of this term omega naught t minus beta naught z. This is a constant term. So let us differentiate with respect to t. So omega naught minus beta naught d is t become dz by dt is equal to 0 so dz by dt is omega naught by b naught so this is the the velocity with which the the wave is traveling let us see that what is the change in the velocity component of due to the small change delta omega and delta beta so let us take this time uh, delta omega t minus delta b is it it is a constant time and let us differentiate with respect to time it become delta omega dt dt become 1 minus delta beta dz by dt so this is 0 so dz by dt become delta omega by delta t delta beta so delta omega is 2 pi delta f just upon delta b beta is 2 by uh, delta delta so delta delta gets cancelled so this become delta f delta delta so this is the the group velocity expression for velocity so because velocity is a displacement by time so here you can see that it is propagating along the z axis so dz by dt is the velocity the velocity of this uh, the the electromagnetic uh, the group of waves so vg we can write down as the group velocity delta f and delta delta so we can use these two expression omega naught by beta naught for uh, the velocity of the electromagnetic wave and the group velocity is uh, delta f times delta delta so this is a small change in the the wavelength